Welcome to another Vox Commando tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up Robo Browser, which is a new plugin included in version 0.953 of Vox Commando. I'm going to show you how to set it up to work with our groceries so that you can add items to your grocery list with voice commands and they'll show up on uh, our groceries account, which can be used on PC or your mobile device so it'll automatically be updated and you can take your iPhone with you shopping or edit your list on your Android tablet or whatever you like. So our groceries is pretty cool. Everything is synchronized almost instantly to any of your devices that have access. So I'll first just demonstrate the usage and then I'll show you how to set it up. I have a sample list here with just eggs on it at the moment and I'll just add some things using Vox Commando. Remember to buy bread. Bread was added to your list. Remember to buy milk. Milk was added to your list. Don't forget to purchase bacon. Bacon was added to your list. Remember to pick up some raspberries. Are you sure you want to add raspberries to your grocery list? Go ahead. Raspberries was added to your list. So this is my Chrome browser, by the way, which is just uh, synchronizing items as I add them. So in terms of functionality, you can see how it works. Uh, sometimes it asks me if I want to add it to the list, and sometimes it doesn't. The reason is that... Um, if I ask for something that I've added to my list before, um, it's using a payload XML and the accuracy is good enough that we don't need to do a confirmation. But if I want to add something to the list that I've never added before, we're using a payload dictation for that. And of course, it's not as reliable. So we want to check first before adding it to the list in case Vox misunderstood our command. So now that that's done, I'm going to stop and rejoin you in a second to show you how to set this up so you can do it yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to set this up so that you can use it yourself. So I have a fresh install of Vox Commando 0.953, which comes with the Robo Browser. And the first thing I'll want to do is enable that plugin. So I go to Options, Go to the Plugins tab and select Robo B. Save and close. And we need to do a full restart to load the plugin. And if I go to my Plugins tab now, you'll see that Robo Browser is active. And there are no settings yet, no preferences yet for the Robo Browser plugin. Probably in the future there will be some, but. Currently, everything is done through various actions. So I'll show you my command tree. It's empty at the moment. It contains only the basic listen commands here. And what we're going to do is import commands that I've posted to the forum. So on the Vox Commando forum, if you go to if you go to Vox Commando support plugins and then go to robo b you'll see that on the second post i've attached some sample groups and i've saved them here to my desktop so that i can just import them into vox commando so the easiest way to do that is to just drag them into your tree or to drag them into the bin first and then bring the groups over. If you do drag them into your tree, make sure that you drag them onto an empty space and not onto an existing group because if I drag onto an existing group, the commands will be added to that group. But we actually want to keep the original groups. So I'll drop it on an empty space. And you see we have two groups added here. and 
remember before that we had uh, two two ways of adding new items. The first was to add items that we'd added before, and that's here. Adding items from groceries.xml. And I'll show you how to create this list in a minute. This group, which just contains this command, has a priority of five so that it will take precedence over the other command, which uses just uh, payload dictation, which is less reliable. So first, if, it's a, if it sounds like something that you've added to your list before, that will take priority. And if not, it'll try to figure out uh, what new item you might be adding, and it'll ask you for confirmation before adding it. Now, one thing that you'll note here is that we have um, this command, which is triggered by an event, the VC loaded event. This is the command that actually loads up the robo browser and navigates to our shopping list. So if you haven't already done so, you need to create an account with our groceries and you need to get a link for the shopping list that you want to use. So in my case, I have an account here and I have created a shopping list called sample. You need to go to this sample list and get the URL, copy it, then go into the open list command and paste your URL in here to this navigate action. So when, when Vox Commando first starts up, the VC loaded event is fired and the open list command is executed. And what it'll do is it'll create a new robo browser and name it our groceries. It'll set the size of the window and it'll navigate to your list. Now you'll notice here that I have a command that will also show the robo browser. When you create a new robo browser window, it is hidden by default. So I'm going to change this to one so that we can see what's going on. And then later when we've got everything working, we can disable this action again by setting it to zero, or we can delete the action altogether if we want. But I'll set this to one so that when our robo browser starts up, we can see what's going on. And this is important because the first time when we restart Vox Commando and it tries to log in, it's going to require us to enter our username and password. So when this when Vox started, it generated this event, which tried to go to our list, but we're not logged in. Now the trick here is we need to tell it to stay signed in. And next time the next time this command is executed, it should remember us and go straight to the list. So here's the list. It may look familiar because I added these items in the previous demonstration. You can just click on items to knock them off of your list as you buy them. And they get added to your crossed off list. If you cross one off by accident, you just click it again to bring it back up. And when you're done shopping, if you want, you can get rid of everything here. The functionality on your mobile device is a little bit different, but basically works the same way. So we'll test this now. We'll do a, another full restart of Vox Commando, and this time it should go to the list right away. So as you can see, it remembered our login credentials. So we don't need to see this window anymore unless it stops working for some reason. So I'm going to go and edit the tree. Open list. Edit this command. And change this show back to zero.
now when I restart it'll load the robo browser and keep it in memory but we don't have to deal with the window and that's great as long as everything's working fine we don't need to see the robo browser window from time to time you'll want to update your payload XML with, with all of the items that you've ever added and this includes anything that you added from your iPhone or tablet or whatever or from a browser so in this group the high priority group we have this payload XML you can take a look at what's in there it's just a list of everything that I've added to my list before and I have it set to use submatch so that if I asked for um, just yogurt it would add fruit yogurt you may decide that you don't want to do it that way you can change the command that generates our payload XML so it's this update payload XML master list I have a voice command here scan new groceries so I'll, I'll just demonstrate that scan new groceries and I get a message that it created 144 items and I can see it's gone through and added all of these items to my list in this case this parameter on the on the payload XML add pair this parameter is true this is the use subset matching parameter if we don't want to use subset matching so that you have to say the exact name of the item then we would change this to false so I'll edit this command down here we have our add pair change this to false and it won't use payload it won't use subset matching anymore so I clicked save and execute sorry you can't see that on the window now if I go and look at our groceries XML you'll see that submatch is not on and that's all there is to it provided everything has been done correctly and if you run into problems you know where to ask for help good luck